What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today, I have a special guest for you. It's my good friend, Anthony Gonzalez from Gwen. Gwen is a high-end eatery in Los Angeles owned by Curtis Stone, who's an Australian celebrity chef, and their main thing is Wagyu beef. That's what they specialize in. But they have an amazing cocktail program, and Anthony here has really done a lot to put his own cocktails on that menu, and so I decided to ask him to come in and make us one of those cocktails. What are you gonna make us for today? Thank you, Leandro. Uh, today I'm gonna be making what's called a Sour Profile. It's uh, inspiration off a sour cocktail. You know, uh, spirit, sweetener, citrus, egg whites. Uh, I'm a huge fan of al pastor, pork, you know, any kind of Mexican, you know, cuisine when it comes to tacos and pork. And uh, daiquiris are my favorite cocktail. So what I try to do is infuse pork and a daiquiri together and make pork daiquiri sour. And today I'm going to be using rum, pineapple, lime, egg whites, and some chili. And uh, first I'm going to start off with the egg whites. You kind of save that. It's like tough to kind of save it. I'll take that for you. Oh, thank it's, you. It's tough to save an egg white when you get a bad break, but that one's actually pretty good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Many years of, uh, you know, cracking eggs over there. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and enough. we are going to be doing a half an ounce of pineapple juice because you can't have pineapple without a store. And a half an ounce of lime juice. Of course, lime juice and tacos always go well together. And we're going to be doing... For an ounce and a half of Magdalena pork wash rum. And his house made coriander syrup, which is uh, cilantro syrup in Spanish, which, you know, you can't have, again, cilantro without tacos. I'm trying to build a taco over here, pretty much. And so like before we get into shaking this cocktail, I just wanted to talk about, it. he said pork fat wash. So for those of you that don't know what like a pork fat wash means, basically when you take anything that's high in fat, any liquid that's really high in fat, like when you cook bacon or when you cook pork or when you uh, liquefy, like put um, uh, 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 coconut oil, sorry, <laughs> coconut oil or olive oil overheat and liquefy it uh, and infuse it into uh, a liquid. What happens is, is that as, you, when you let it sit and as it gets to room temperature, it'll actually solidify inside that liquid. And what you do is you can skim the, those, you can, once the fat uh, solidifies, you can skim the solids out and it leaves behind its flavor profile. Um, and uh, I've been meaning to get into this on, this on this channel, but I haven't gotten into it yet. And so he's basically, did you pork fat wash it with bacon or you pork fat wash it with I pork? I did use bacon, yes. So he used bacon, you know, he, he cooked up the bacon, he took the bacon grease and he put it into the rum and then he let it sit and then he skimmed the fats out. So oh, yeah, you have to have, uh, froze it first. Oh, it froze it. And then you just like, you know, skim off the fat pretty much. Right, so then you just skim off the fat and then you have the uh, like bacon flavor inside. The, yes, uh, this inside was the actually a rum. white rum. Now you can see it has like a nice golden tint with actually some fat still lingering in there. So now we have all the ingredients in there. I'm gonna do a little dry shake to emulsify the egg. Get it nice and frothy. Great shakers. Yeah, it's nice, right? It kind of comes apart real nice. Yeah, yeah. right. And then you add your ice. Nice little slam. So you're gonna add your block to the glass. And then uh, with this one, you don't have the double strain. Nice and creamy there. Oh, beautiful. I'm just gonna, yeah. And then we have three touches left. I like to add a little chili powder to give it a nice little kick. You can garnish it however you like. I like to have a little, you know, a little line across. And then this is a chicharron, which is a pork rind in English, I believe. Pork rind, yep. Yeah. And then a uh, little flour inside, edible flour, and we are. There you have it. Oh, the flour. Well, yeah, well, flowers are floppy. Sour profile. <laughs> there you got it, guys. The sour profile. 
All right, you guys, let's chase this bad boy and figure out what it tastes like. You nervous? <laughs> Just taste it, man. <laughs> oh, man. Like, the pork actually really comes through on this. Yeah. It's nice. It's like... You taste tacos? You get the citrus. You get the coriander a little bit. You get the pineapple. It's not overly sweet at all. Right. Uh, I can really taste the pork inside the rum. It's great. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, it's, it's a, great a great cocktail drink. for in a hot summer day. You know, if uh, if you're hungry but you, you don't really want to eat and you want to just want to drink, there it is. There it a is. Pork daiquiri. A pork daiquiri. <laughs> Otherwise known as what is it again? A sour profile. A sour profile. And you can get it at Gwen in Hollywood. Right. So if you go to Gwen, sit in front of Anthony and ask for the sour profile, and this is what you're gonna get. 